Good morning. I hope you all have had an awesome week. Let's show you what we've been up to this week. stop because we're on the way out and our neighbour, look at this, our neighbour keeps leaving us vegetable bags. <gasps> oh my god, she is the best. Look at all these potatoes. <gasps> potatoes, everything. Oh my god, she's so nice. She is so lovely. So she was standing. What's hilarious is that I tried to say to her, Oh, what what could we give you? And I was like, oh, what about some courgettes? She was like, oh, I don't like them. I was like, oh, and basically she only grows what she likes, so you can't give her anything back. She doesn't <laughs> like it. <laughs> um, so <laughs> she she has been standing at the end top of her drive when we drive past on the way to school to give us some vegetables, but she says that she can't get from her house the top of the drive quick enough to stand there to give them to us. So she keeps leaving them at the top of her drive. Oh, she's so sweet, isn't she? She is, and she's also the tiniest little woman you've ever met in your life. But she does all of the farming on her own. It's incredible. Her garden, maybe I'll ask her if we can go show you guys because it is incredible. She I don't works know what at, she does to it. No, I have no idea. But she works, works the land herself and um, yeah, she clearly has a bountiful of of vegetables. Um, but yes, that is such a lovely surprise. And it makes us feel so welcome, doesn't it, in uh, our little... And we can only say about 20 words to each other. So <laughs> my friend translated what she was saying about leaving the bags of food for us. And then the, uh, I said about giving stuff back, but she just doesn't want it. No. She just won't have it. So maybe we'll get the children to do her drawing sometimes we give her a lift back to the farm sometimes yeah she loves that she does um oh she walks, yeah she walks five kilometers to her farm and back to her house every day at seven o'clock in the morning she walks from her home to the farm and at 10 o'clock at night she walks from the farm back to her house and she quite often refuses a lift but we've we've given her sometimes and she's accepted but she is an incredible person. She is amazing and so, so generous. Um, but yeah, it just makes us feel really welcome, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, I don't know how far around I can there. drive her to say thank you. <laughs> That's the only thing I've got so far in my armory. I would give her one of my tiny lettuces. That wouldn't work. <laughs> we trade her with one of your tiny little potatoes. Yeah. Look at that. Off down to the river pool and Trixie's got a strong look on today. Swimsuit and welly boots. <laughs> you are so... Are you going to get in the river? Yeah. It's hot, isn't it, today? Yeah. <laughs> Can I have a look? Yeah. This is a bulb from the bottom of a fern. Cool. Yeah, but you can't eat it. No eating. Cool. Oh, my brother, my 
I think today it says it's going to be 37. Um, so I'm going to go find Badger and see what he's up to and see what the jobs are for the day. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hmm. What are you making? Uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> well, I was messaging, I was trying to get hold of the digger driver to find out what we were going to do to make a plan over the next few weeks. Uh, so I messaged him and then I was looking at this pile of offcuts from our teepee and I thought, why don't I make the dog a mini teepee? My God, what can I do? So I've got the offcuts, these, from the, the top of the teepee and I've got the canvas was wrapped in another bit of canvas. So I reckon if I'm clever enough with the sizings, I can just about put a bit of canvas and fold it back to look like that one, but it would be a dog bed. Do you think she'd like it? Would you like that, Puds? Pudding? Do you want a little teepee? Bed. That's a great idea. She um, keeps going under the bus to keep cool, doesn't she? So maybe... Maybe I'll put it in the shade with the teepee. It might look, it'll look cool anyway, even, yeah. if I, even if I get in it. I doubt she'll use it. <laughs> <laughs> right, so after you've stopped faffing around with a dog teepee, which is a very cute idea, <laughs> what is the plan this week? Well... We were advised when we bought land that we should put chains at each of the entrances, um, which we've done. But I actually think our front entrance, now that we've got our parallelosh or calzada, as people call it. But apparently parallelosh is the cube. But that's what the guy who did it called it. So I'm sorry if I offended. Um, but I think we should have some proper gates. And I've got some leftover wood still from the roundhouse we haven't done yet. <laughs> um, and I thought we could make some cool gates. Yeah, I think it'd be nice. We've got on the land. And now, well, the children break up on Friday for some holidays. Yeah. And the puppy and all that kind of stuff. I think it's nice to have, like, a front gate. Um, As a dog owner, I should have said first that it was to keep the dog in, but I didn't even think about that. Yeah. But, yeah, that's definitely a good idea. Well, to be fair, she doesn't walk off, but I think now she's getting older, she's getting a bit more confident. Definitely. And there are a few wild dogs around, so it'll keep them out as definitely. well. Definitely. No, I think it's great. So I think we should go up. Measure it, design it, use some oak posts, use some wood we've got to make like an old school five bar gate. And that'll be today's... Actually, I need to build a bench 
in there first to build it on. Okay, well, I'm going to have a coffee first while Badger, <laughs> while Badger plays around with the dog teepee. And um, yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's literally just thrown up. <laughs> so I put a bed in it, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I think if she likes it now, I'll go a bit all out and do it properly. Yeah. Pudding. Pudding. Check out your new bed. What's that? Hmm? Hey, Bubba. You try it in your bed. In your bed. Go on, in your bed. <laughs> in your huh? Come on, in your bed. Good girl. That's it, lie down. Lie down. Oh, oh little dog TV. Well done. Oh my gosh, she looks so cute. <laughs> she looks so cute. Right, let's get on to jobs that are actually useful. Yeah, okay. We've like got a house to build, gates to build. I know. And then you build dog teepees. Well, it was only five minutes while I was waiting for you to get back. <laughs> What's the plan, Stan? The plan is, I've just got these offcuts everywhere from building the storage. And I'm going to build a little table here, like a workshop table. And then I can start building the gate on it. Perfect. So I can lay it down, measure it, mark it, cut it, drill it. So I'm going to build this first, which will just be a simple table with a two legs and screw to the post. Nice view. With a nice view from my workshop. <laughs> um, yeah, and then once we've done that, then we'll go and measure the gates, see what width we need, see what post we're gonna use, and um, yeah, see what right. we turn out like. I left, uh, well I used the, the old pallets because I thought actually the gaps would be handy for cutting and for clamping um, rather than having a solid top but also you could just put a solid sheet on top if you want to um, but it's nice and sturdy and ready for us to make the gates so I think we should go up the top and measure the width of the road and the posts and stuff and start putting something together let's go I've got my tape measure Everybody's feeling nice and fresh after our shuffle round. Everything looks a bit neater and tidier. And then, oh, why is the car in the garden? Why is the car in the garden? I'm not sure any written consent was given for driving on my lawn. Look at these marks on my lawn. Excuse me, you can't park there. Well, I had so much wood to move, and I tried to move like two pieces, and I couldn't do it, so I decided to bring the car. We did notice in one of the comments that somebody said maybe it's time for a small diesel tractor and trailer. No. No? Just destroy the whole inside of the car. <laughs> well, I want to finish the house first. It's probably okay. too late for the tractor, but... I don't want to run out of money. Right, well, I'm on my way up to the gates. Do you want to join me and we'll have a measure up? Yeah. Or you want to do one more load? Do you want to help me unload it in a minute? Okay, all right. Deal? Deal. It's getting hot now. <laughs> The entrance. The entrance <laughs> of our property. Oh, what do you want me Keep to do? Keep going, well. Yeah? I can't see. 
No, not there. Come back. Back, 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 back. Yeah, somewhere like that. So the plan is to make a gate, two gates. Yeah? Is I think so, yeah, because it's quite a big gate. Split it in half. There? So that's four metres there, I reckon. So I might make... So the plan is to make two gates that open and close. <laughs> it's the objective of, Sorry. of the gate. Yeah. Gates. So as we said before, we do, there is a few kind of wild, I don't know if they're wild or like feral dogs that just like to roam around and our little princess doesn't like them. Um, and also there is some old law somewhere that if you don't have gates up, the hunters can come through your land. I know they used to hunt for wild boar here. Um, wild boar? Wild boar. <laughs> we haven't actually seen any hunters since we've been living here because I think obviously everyone knows we live here. But that is the plan to make a gate. That is the plan. As we said before. Right, go again. Right, so now we need to measure it and... I don't know what we're doing. Well, neither do I yet. It's kind of trying to make a design up. I definitely think we're splitting too. So go to the stone and see what we've got in total. I need to go and get some wood and it's going to be a bit of guess measurement work it out as I go really I haven't really got a plan but sort of a five bar gate with sort of bolts haven't really planned that yet but we'll get there let me get some wood <laughs> and boring but I've managed to move all the wood from the house down to next to the barn so we can chop it and prepare it and store it for winter. It seems pretty mental um, when you're logging, lugging it around and it's 37 degrees but preparing for winter in this weather is what I mean. Um, but yeah that's another job done. I didn't record it because it was boring to do so I can't even imagine how boring it would be to watch um, but let's go see how Badge is getting on with the gate. How are you getting on? Getting there, slowly. I'm just sort of making it up as I go along, really. Talk me through it. Well, I thought I would do slightly different, so it's like tall at the post, yeah. and then comes down a little bit along the top. So this is the middle one. That's the end one. We've got the bottom. Then that's the middle, and then I'll have one at an angle from top to bottom, and I can cut them off all neatly, make sure it's square, and then I can put some 45s in to brace it. And then nice. it should be close to looking like a gate. Awesome. Yeah, ma'am. And have you decided to use the, what are they called? Planks or the sticks? I don't know yet. I thought if I make the gates, get them hung, and then we can look at them and try, offer it up. Oh see yeah, what we think. good thinking. So we have two options, to use these on the gates, these planks, like slices of pine, or these thinner bits, some of these are oak actually, um, kind of upright, so it'd be going down that way. But yeah, we'll see. Just come into the bus. I found one hot cat. Oh, sorry. Did you wake you up? Are you a bit tired? So 
I've just clamped this piece on across here, and now I'm going to screw it on, and then that should be ready for some 45 braces, and that's gate number one done. Apart from bolts. So that's number one made. Um, hopefully that is all fine and it works and it looks all right so we can clad to it and then I'll make another one. There's a few bolts I want to put in once it's completely finished just to hold it nice and tight. Already one through here, hold that tight and at the bottom there and maybe one at each corner. Should we lift it down see what it looks like? So, gate number one, Kayla is the post, currently, <laughs> and then we'll clad the outside. So that's what it'll look like from the side that would be cladded. And then if we go through where there should be another gate, to this side, this is what our side will look like. Amazing! Anybody who knows about making gates, anything they can see that I have completely missed, that would be super handy. <laughs> What are you doing here? Well, I spoke to my friend who is a carpenter. And he said I needed a diagonal one from the top where the two gates meet to the bottom of the base of the hinge to stop the gate dropping. So it means you've got to notch them together. And I thought, well, I might as well do it. But it's 40 degrees and I realise I don't have a chisel, so I'm having to do the <laughs> screwdriver. <laughs> it's taking me a long time. Not quite yet. I'm going to get this one done. I'll make the other one tomorrow. <laughs> Don't blame you. <laughs> Nearly there. Chiseling with a screwdriver. Screwdriver in the claw bit of my hammer. <laughs> Carpenting. Carpet Carpeting? Carpenting? Carpentry 101. 101. <laughs> yeah. Get a chisel. Uh, look at that. Your chisel and claw hammer. Chisel and claw. Oh. Smooth as. Oh, I'm trying actually to get my camera at the right angle. Oh, there you go. That's pretty clever, isn't it? Thanks, babe. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Actually, looks like a gate. We're getting there, so I just need to temporarily screw it. Yeah. And then I can turn it around and bow with it. Amazing. Right, so today I'm going to do a little bit of cooking. As you all know, my tomatoes have basically failed. Um, firstly, thank you so much for all the comments and advice on the tomatoes and gardening and the encouragement. Um, lots of people saying, don't worry, don't give up, um, and loads of advice on how to look after them. I think it's been a mixture of the polytunnels too hot. I planted them kind of in the spring when it was still really chilly. Um, but obviously now it's it's like 37 today or something. Um, I think there might be a bit of blight on them. So I've taken all the leaves off and disposed of them away from the compost. Well, I put them in a bin bag and I'm gonna take them to the bin because we can't do fires at the moment. Um, so yes, thank you so much. But I have tried to save, <clears throat> sorry, as many tomatoes as possible. There's still some clinging on for dear life um, onto the plants. So I'm gonna leave them and see if they get a bit redder but i'm not sure they will but we have got here a whole punnet whole cart crate of green and well kind of black and green tomatoes which i'm hoping i can save i absolutely hate wasting anything especially if i've grown it um so last year i made dust off the old jar a jar of red tomato and chilli jam and I made so much of it and we eat it on everything. Cheese on toast, 
with yeah literally everything so i thought i'd make a green tomato and chili chutney and see how it goes um and bring you along for the little cooking cooking demonstration with me one of my biggest passions ever is cooking so i do it all the time and i would cook all day every day if i could um, and i love preserving and pickling and fermenting um yeah i just absolutely love it so it's actually exciting that i can use some of okay the not so good produce um, and make it into something delicious hopefully so first i'm going to dice all the tomatoes up finely and obviously cut all the bad bits off um that's the first job the tomatoes all diced and chopped up the rotten bits actually managed to salvage loads so i'm really happy about that next i'm going to chop up the chili the ginger and the garlic and then blitz it in the blender Everything is chopped I'm gonna go and blend this in the bus you are meant to use well last time I used fish sauce in this one but I don't have any fish sauce go okay, so I'm gonna substitute it is the word I was looking for with Worcestershire sauce which is kind of salty and hopefully similar um so yeah right so that's all blended up the chili garlic and ginger now we're gonna heat up about 200 millilitres of cider vinegar I use cider vinegar because it's not so acidic and then about 600 grams of sugar um, I'm not very good at following recipes I just kind of go off on my own tangent so yeah we'll see if it works so we're just going to gently warm it until the sugar has dissolved and then I'll add the chilli garlic ginger mix. Garlic ginger mix smells so good. Right, so we're going to stir this in and bring it to the boil. Once it comes to the boil, I'm then going to turn it down and simmer it. And add the tomatoes. Reduced. It's nice and sticky. It tastes amazing. It's quite spicy. Um, and I've got my jars over here that I've sterilised. So now I'm going to fill them up. This is where I make an absolute mess and get it all over my fingers and burn myself. But here we go. Let's try. we have it three and three quarter jars of green I don't know if you can see it you can see the green green chili chutney and I have to say it's rather delicious and I'm very happy that I managed to save all those lovely tomatoes so yeah there we go it looks Epic badger. Ta -da. <laughs> well, I've been making chutney. Well, I was I was hoping that I was going to get two done, but that's not going to happen. No. No. So I've given up <laughs> on the second one, and that'll be for next week. But now I know how to do it. It's going to be much easier. I can just copy this one, but in reverse. Definitely. Um, I think it looks amazing. And then hopefully we can clad it, and get when we get them up and the big oak posts, it will look mega. Yeah. But next week. But next week. Because I'm done. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> and that's it for this week. Thank you so much for watching. I feel like we've actually got loads of little, well, 
I've got lots of little bits done. Save the tomatoes. Yep. Move the words. You obviously. Yeah, I made the, the first gate. gate, which is good, and I'm pleased with the first like design. So the second one should be much easier. Yeah. So let's fly. <laughs> um, and you're not uh, waving off. Oh yeah. <laughs> And then hopefully next week I get the other one done and then we can get some posts in and suddenly we'll start to have a look That'd like be a amazing. big entrance, which would be nice. Yeah, definitely. Um, and yeah, so we're ready for next week. And I have had a text from the tractor man. Oh, see you next week. See you next week. Bye.